Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are working on this medieval trebuchet by Pathfinders and this is for our Middle Ages unit study. Now you can find more information about our unit study as well as all of the materials that we've used down in the description box below. All right, so this kit comes with everything you need in order to build a working trebuchet. My son is 12 years old and he is going to be working on this project. I went ahead and opened everything up and separated all of the materials into a couple of different trays for him. And then he's going to do this project pretty much entirely on his own. Now it did take a while and there were some challenges with this project that I want to walk you through in case you have this kit and you are running into those same problems. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut down this dowel to the sizes that you need, which for me is kind of confusing since everything else is cut to size, but you do need to cut several pieces into really small pieces. Now it says to use a pair of scissors, which actually worked better than our little saw, but I thought it would ruin my scissors and that's why we use the saw. Okay, so once we got all those pieces cut down, it was time to glue together the basket part of the trebuchet. We're going to use all those little cut pieces a little bit later on, but you can see them in that tray right there. So this part goes about pretty easily. The problems we had were mostly in fitting our little dowels into the pieces. And I found that the dowels were just a little bit too big for the holes that were pre-drilled, which caused a lot of problems. Now we had a little mallet, like a little scrapbooking uh, hammer in order to kind of get those pieces in, but it ended up splitting the wood because the dowels were too big. And so we ended up having to sand down the dowels before we could fit them into those pre-drilled holes. So at this point my son has constructed the base but he still needs to work on the side pieces, the rest of the basket, and the wheels. And aside from having the problem of the dowels being a little bit too big, which he ended up having to sand down with uh, an emery board rather than the little piece of sandpaper that came in the kit, I found that everything else in the kit went about pretty smoothly. And the most exciting part is that it actually works really well. And I'm really excited to show you that footage at the end of this video. So he's making some really good progress and I want to say that we did this over the course of a few days and that worked really well because it gave all the pieces time to dry. Even though you are using dowels, it does recommend that you use glue in order to set all these pieces. So this is not something that you can take apart and then store and then take it out again in to work on it. You probably want to just find a place to store this once it's complete and it does take up quite a bit of room and in our experience, I know that it will function really well for a really long time, but eventually with a lot of wear and tear, these projects do break. And so because we've gone through our Middle Ages unit now three times, we now have three trebuchets and one of them has already broken, but it was eight years old. So as far as a product goes, I think it is really well made. I highly recommend it. I would just recommend that you work along with your child if you feel like your child is too young to do this on his or her own. Otherwise, I think it works great for kids about 10 years and up. Okay, so we're just at the end of the project at this point and it's time to uh, just string up the part that holds the rock or whatever projectile you're going to have. Now the kit does come with some clay in order to make your own projectile, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like using the clay ball as well as a rock. I think you'll be really excited to see what happens when you actually use a rock. You will need rocks for this basket part. You do need a counterweight and we just had some rocks in our home. We have three boys, of course we have rocks. And at this point, it's just about done. My son's going to test it out just to make sure that it works. And then he's going to work on that little ball. So it comes with clay here. And at first I thought it was polymer clay that you bake, but it is not. It's going to stay soft, which means it's not going to hurt anything once it leaves the trebuchet. Okay, so we gave it a try in our schoolroom, and then we gave it a try again with a rock. And let's see what happens. Here my son is just getting the contraption ready to go and then you need to uh, secure it before you let it go. And there it goes and it totally hit the castle and even broke a part of it off. So 
it really does work, especially with the castles that we have built <laughs> in the past and in the present. So that's been a lot of fun to actually play with. Okay, so if you'd like to see some of the other videos in our Middle Ages unit, you can tap on the screen right now. And if you want more information about this unit study, you can find that in the description box below. And don't forget that if you want to see what our homeschool looks like on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.